Sunday when you're watching this <laughs> but it is Friday today and I'm going to take you through a bit of a day in the life a daily vlog um I have oh it sounds like such an influencer thing to say I have some errands to run <laughs> the errands are remember the vlog I did where I went pottery painting it's about a month later and I've still not collected the mug <laughs> so I'm gonna go and get that and then I need to get an SD card for my camera because, as you may or may not be able to tell, I really, I don't know if you can tell the difference. When I'm editing, I can't tell the difference. But I'm filming on my phone right now because something has happened to my SD card and no matter how much I delete, it's only giving me 20 minutes of footage. I've deleted, like, I've deleted it all up from my laptop. Like, when I plug the SD card in, I've gone through, selected it all, put in the bin. Normally that clears it. But then when I go on the camera, it still says it's all there. But then when I press the little play button to like flick through, nothing is there. But then deleting those files does nothing. So I don't know what I've done, but I'm going to need to buy a new one. Because let's be real, I talk too much to only have 20 minutes of footage. Like I did my B-roll on my camera this morning and that 20 minutes is done. So yeah, so we need to do, going to get one of those. Um, and then I've got some work to do. So I'm going to go and do a work from not home day. Um, if you are self-employed <laughs> or just work from home in general, you you may be a fan of the work from not home days. We just go to a coffee shop and do some work for a bit of a change in environment. It's something I like to do towards the end of the week. It just feels good. So I'm going to go to a nice little coffee shop in the town where I need to get my mug from. Um, and then there's the Waterstones there. So let's be real. I'm going to do some book shopping. Um... I'm gonna take my Kindle with me. I got my Kindle for my birthday and I've been really enjoying reading on that. So that'll come with me and hopefully I can do a bit of reading whilst I'm at said coffee shop. But yeah, this is the outfit of today. I need to put, find what shoes I'm gonna wear, but bodysuit is from Zahara. Jeans are from ASOS. They're the dab jeans, absolute favorite jeans. Um, but yeah, that is basically the plan for today but actually can we just take a moment to realize how gross the weather is it is not stopped raining <laughs> all morning it's gross but it's also saying that it's like humid out and it's like 18 degrees so i'm like oh maybe i'm gonna be too hot but then i feel like the rain just makes it feel cold and cozy and i want to embrace it so hard so this is the outfit i've gone for just the same as i had on earlier but this crop leather jacket from Topshop, but ASOS, obviously. My long champ Le Pleur, I think that's how you say it. And then these are just Nike Technos. They're like the closest I have to like a dad trainer kind of style. So yeah, that is the look. <laughs>
I've just finished shopping. <laughs> I have, no, so I did all my work. I did all my coffee shop work. I was mainly writing things for my new project today. Yeah, and then I did some shopping. Treated myself to some books because I managed to fly through my work, which is really exciting. Um, it's really like a relief because the project that I'm working on involves writing again. Um, I have a degree in history and journalism, but I've not written a lot since then so i was a little bit worried that like writing again wouldn't wouldn't go too well wouldn't come back to me naturally um but yeah it definitely did and it was really good really easy anyway i then went shopping i went towards the stones in the works and i got some books so i will show you those um and then i got some tops from new look actually new look kids but i'll talk about that when i like try them on and stuff but yeah the plan now is to go to sainsbury's as i need to get an sd card um i'm gonna go to sainsbury's slash argos so i can get this sd card because i need to stop filming on my phone because i hate filming on my phone so much it's so annoying like not having the little viewfinder thing um and how it just sometimes stops recording so yeah card has been secured and then i got some food for tonight i'm gonna have some sausage pasta which i feel like is just a nice dinner and then i got some um whipped cream as well so i can make a hot chocolate when i get in because it is giving hot chocolate weather it's actually like it's it's like 20 degrees but it does not feel like 20 degrees it is raining it's cold it is reading and a hot chocolate weather so that's how i'm gonna spend my evening is it saying it's gonna take me like an hour to get home i'm not mentally prepared to drive for that long oh i just wanted to get home and read guys what even is this weather driving home was terrifying it's like literally like a flash flood that's the only way i can describe it. i've never i don't think i've ever seen rain like this what an earth i want to go and get cozy but i'm scared to leave my car i've got three books and I'm like trying to jam them in my bag so they don't get ruined because it's so wet that I genuinely think if a book gets wet right now, game over. It's insane. But whilst I'm hiding in the car, look at this toy that I got for my dog. Tell me this isn't the cutest little thing ever. It's a little toy badger. Hopefully he doesn't absolutely destroy this. Um, I. He likes to chew, like rip things off and chew things off. So like... The ears are pretty flush to the head. I don't think you'll be able to get a good hold of those. The tail might be an issue, but like it's also quite, it's not like flat. You like shouldn't be able to rip that off. So hopefully Badger lasts a long time. And look, it has a name. Like they fully named it. It's so cute. So yeah, hopefully this survives. Guys, it is literally so dark in here. And I'm really hoping you can hear me because... The rain is so loud, but I wanted to do a bit of a haul of what I got. So let's start with the book. So the first bookshop that I went into was Waterstones, and I picked up this book by Emily Henry. I haven't actually heard anyone talk about this book, and I've heard so much stuff about her other books. I've read Book Lovers, Beach. This is a really funny story. It's not a funny story at all. It's just a story. So Beach Read has been on my TBR, not a physical TBR, just like, the, the list of books I want to read for the whole of this year before this year I just it became a physical list when I got Goodreads at the start of this year so it's a long time today I walked into Waterstones you know every time I've been into Waterstones recently I've seen it I've come and I should I should get that it's been on my it's been on my list for a while today I picked it up read the back I was like oh I really like the sound of this and then I looked at this book and I read the back uh, but no so I put the but I put book lovers no I put beach read back and I was like not today like I don't I don't really want to buy a book other than a, a particular like I went in for a particular book I was like that's all I'm buying I'm not really reading romance at the moment so we'll save that for another day and then I picked this up and the the back of this book got me straight away so this is the back so it has like 12 summers ago 11 summers ago 10 summers ago 7 summers ago 2 summers ago this summer and immediately i was like i'm obsessed like i need to know um, so yeah i got this and it's quite short as well i think it's only like 400 pages maybe maybe less than that 
Oh, literally 350, 360 pages. That's a nice, that's a quick read. So I picked that up in Waterstones. And then of course I had to go to the work. So the original book that I went into Waterstones for is the second book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. That is next that I will be reading. I'm going to finish The Skeleton Key, which is my current read. And then I'm moving on to that series. Now, I typically don't like to buy the books in a series before I start reading it just in case just in case but I went into Waterstones today and I was like if they have it I'll buy it because I know I'm gonna start it this weekend I think it will be quite a quick read the font's quite big it's quite a short book I want to make sure that I've got the second one in in case I manage to read it really really quickly so Waterstones didn't have it and I was sp speaking to the person that works there because um they run book club um so we were just having a little bit of a chit chat and I was like oh and I like I asked them to check to see if they had it in stock um and they didn't they didn't have it in stock so I was like oh do you know what it's probably for the best um I had told myself I wasn't going to buy the like book two until I had at least started book one and they said yeah it's, it's definitely a sign so then I am moseying on over to the works and I'm like nosing about, I'm looking at, you know how in the works they normally have their books on a wall and then sometimes they have tables. I don't normally pay attention to the tables because it's normally kids book, but I was just having a little bit of a wander around because the, the book wall was looking a little bit better. So I was having a little wander around. What did I find? The second book in the series. So I picked it up and it was only six pound as well, which is really good. And I think it's actually got a sticker over it. So it was, it was eight pounds. So I actually got a really good deal on this, which I am really happy about. And obviously, the third one in the series comes out really soon. The only thing I'm so annoyed about is that they're not doing a paper edition. Like, they're not, there's not a paperback, which means I will have to buy the hardback, which is really annoying because I'm going to have two paperback, one hardback. And I hate, hate reading hardback. But because I've got the rest, of, like, I've got the physical copies now, I have to. Like, I have to commit to it because I can't wait until the paper copy comes back out. Um especially like it depends how attached i get to the series i guess um oh my god the sticker's stuck okay we're gonna just do that out in a bit and i might get a hairdryer on it but yeah it depends how attached i get to it like some series i like the magnolia park series for example i was really undecided i well actually i was gonna just go for all of the new covers on them the new covers don't come out for the, the third and fourth book until november so i read it on kindle um because they're on unlimited but now I I pre-ordered the, for the final book, I pre-ordered the original cover because they're releasing two versions of it. So now I, I need, I need to buy the four books that I've already read, but with different covers. Because I just, I'm obsessed with that series. So yeah, I guess if this, I, I completely lost my trailer thought. Anyway, if I really like this series, maybe I will read it on Kindle and wait for the paperback to come out so I don't have a random hardback because I, I just hate hardbacks it's like i really want to read fourth wing but i refuse to read a hardback can't do it but anyway i picked up the second book in this series that is the second book that i picked up and then the third and final book that i went for it's so thick but it's a really floppy book so i think it will be fine my my general strategy with whether if it's a thick book if i go for a physical book or if i'm reading it on a kindle is if it's floppy if it's really floppy like this is um and the same as powerless i'm like i will happily just read the physical book it also this is really niche you know when um i don't know how to describe it i i don't know what it's called but you know when it has that like i think it's like a soft finish rather than just like a, a standard hardback it's got that like got a texture to it i really like when books have that finish but anyway this book is called a crown of ivy and glass um it's a fantasy book it i think it's a romanticy um i'm assuming because the male main character is described as devastatingly handsome so i'd be very surprised if that's not a romance and it says seduced by a demon his family just drew themselves so it sounds wild um there's magic and yeah it's kind of almost giving me the same vibes as powerless but not quite um it says a sweeping fantasy romance series that's perfect for fans of bridgerton and a court of thorn and roses i've not read akatar yet um 
I'm with Akata, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it as a Kindle. Oh my god, it doesn't say when the next one comes out. That always terrifies me. Hopefully the next one is in fact out. Um but yeah, with Akata, I can't decide if I want to start the series on Kindle or buy the books because I know there's one that's like really, really thick and I don't know if I want to read that one as a physical one. And I'm also waiting till I've like gotten more of the books that I'm currently reading and want to read Whittled Down because I know Akata is a long series and I know I will probably read Akata and then want to read Throne, the, is it called the Throne of Glass series? So yeah, I'm just kind of waiting till I've read a few more books and also a few more fantasy books because I know some people say it is like a beginner fantasy series, but like I'm finding it intimidating. Um, and I've not read that kind of fantasy. I've only really read um, like, what's the word? I've only really read books like Powerless where they are, I can't think of the word. Anyway, books like Hunger Games, that kind of vibe, Divergent, those kind of books, that they have a special name and I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, so yeah, I'm really excited to give this a go. It's got quite a nice big font to it. So it is 640 pages, so it is going to take, like, it's a, it's a big read. Um, it'll probably take, like, a week to read, which sounds like nothing. But I normally read kind of two, maybe three books a week. So when I'm thinking one book is going to take a week to read, I'm like, wow, that's a really long time. Um, but moving on from books, I went into New Look and I got two top. So these are from the kids section. And if you like baby tees, get yourself to New Look's kids section. Because, so I would say up to like a size 12 would fit in these. So this, this is like age 12 to 13 and they go up to 14 to 15. And I honestly, I feel like I probably could have gone a bit smaller. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, it's the arms that I think would stop me from being able to go to a smaller size with these. Um, but yeah, such cute baby tees. So I have this one that just says Tennessee Nashville, which I just think is so cute. Um, I got the I got both of these because I thought I might wear them. I'm going to see the Errors Tour movie on Sunday night, and I thought these both could work really cutely for that because obviously Nashville, Tennessee, that's where Taylor became Taylor. We we love Nashville where speak now is really like it it has significant meaning so I was like this this could be cute and I just quite like it like I think it's a cute top um it's a bit different to anything I have as well like I don't have too many graphic tees like this so I think it's super cute and then the second one that I got which I also think I could wear for the errors tour movie because it says fearless on it and it's got a butterfly it's so it's so fearless and debut coded so it says always fearless love it um it's, a, it's i mean it also says you've got this it's a little bit cringe but yeah i think these are so cute and obviously because their kids tops they are pretty cheap as well so i would definitely recommend the kids section of new look and i also think they might be a little bit more you're probably not going to see me and um, they might be a little bit more longer line so i'm going to try those on and then the last thing i did i didn't buy this today but i picked up the mug that i painted guys it's come out so cute but this is my mug so it, has, it says pumpkin spice error and then i've got all my little my little quotes around the side and then on this side i've got all of my little autumn activities so i might go and have my hot chocolate in this mug because she's adorable and i'm so excited to drink from her although some bits of it really didn't come out too good um yeah they some of it's are a little bit wishy-washy but you know, she's cute, first attempt and all that. I've just put the books away on my bookcase. So I actually reorganized this yesterday. So let's do a run through. So down the bottom, I have like miscellaneous books, literary fictions, um, things that I just couldn't really fit into a character, a category. And then I have my Colleen Hoover's um, down there. I don't read Colin Hoover anymore. It's quite problematic. Um, so she's just shoved in a corner. Um, and then on this shelf, I have my fantasy romances my 
romantices um, and then my romances so we've got magnolia parks the two that i have in the series down here um red white royal blue sense and sensibility from a levels which is quite battered um and then loads of romances um along here which then flush oh um we've got the chestnut spring series the first book in that um the emily henry that i just brought book lovers i like to keep the authors together so you can see my page tunes also oh my page tunes also together and then we have my romanticies so we've got a crown of ivy and glass powerless i've got out display because it's such a beautiful it cut me off but as i was saying it's such a beautiful cover um and then we have the once upon a broken heart series here as well and then along the top i have my two sally rooney books normal people and conversations with friends um i've got my thursday murder club series and then i have all of taylor jenkins read books i've got them split so because evelyn hugo doesn't have the same type as the other books which is so annoying so i've got it split by um i've got carrie soto daisy jones my Be rising so they look the same then i put evelyn hugo outward facing um because it the spine just really annoyed me um and then i have all of these books which they're not a series but i always just group them together because they are like the same um and then on top i have my little salt lamp i have this print that i made um which is a magnolia parks quote from the back of the book it's how many loves do you get in a lifetime and then i have this beautiful print from that i got on etsy i can't remember the seller's name um but i will put it on the screen um and it's from the taylor swift song and then i just have a little pop pop but like honestly i'm obsessed with that print um but yeah i'm gonna go get some food because i am really hungry but i'm also gonna put my pumpies on oh and I'm, I'm gonna try those tops in yeah i'm actually obsessed with this top this is so cute it's it looks really cute it works really well um and it fits really nicely as well it's a little bit loose but i kind of like that for these style of tops um but yeah that's the first one and this is the the i was gonna say the laura like gilmore one because it really reminds me of something that she would wear um but yeah it's a little bit loose which again i think just it looks quite good with this kind of top i think to have it just a little bit loose but again i don't think i could size down because the arms are tight um but yeah really like this i think it looks super cute i actually quite like it with these jeans as well i think that just goes quite nicely it looks a, looks a little bit edgy um but yeah i mean as i said like for the millionth time i'm gonna go and get some food <laughs> 